Hi, hands in Nicholas speaking and today we're going to talk about how to measure the temperature at the surface of a star. First, we all need to understand what is a black body. A black body is an idealized body that can be a solid, a liquid or a gas. By idealized, I mean that it was invented for science purposes and that it does not exist in nature. What is special about this black body is that it absorbs all the electromagnetic radiations and energy that it receives. May it be yellow lights or gamma radiation. And the only radiations that it emits come from its temperature. While well, stars are not black bodies, but we can assume that they work approximately in the same way. The radiations that they emit mainly depends on their temperature. And this is how we can know the temperature at the surface of a star. The hotter a star is, the smaller the wavelengths of the radiations this star emits are going to. The wavelength is the smallest distance between two identical points in a radiation. Or in other words, it's basically the shortest distance that repeats indefinitely in a wave. So like I said, the hotter the star is, the shorter the wavelength are. So in order to calculate the temperature, we first need to find what is the wavelength that is found in the greatest proportions, it's called lambda max. Here lambda max has radiation of the color blue, and we know that blue has a wavelength of around 450 nanometers. So lambda max is 450 nanometers. And since we know what is the equation to calculate the temperature when you have lambda max, which is the Vn law, T equals 2.9 times 10 to the negative third power divided by lambda max in meters, which is 450 times 10 to the negative ninth power. And the equation gives us around 6440 kelvins, and that is how we calculate the temperature of the surface of a star. Now we are going to see the few colors that stars can have depending on their temperature. Here's a table that shows the colors depending on the temperature at the surface. So in general, this is what a star's color can be. So you've finished reading it? You'll notice that green stars do not exist. You now know how to measure the temperature at the surface of a star. And the last thing before I leave, although the temperature of a star is only about a few thousand degrees at the surface, the temperature is at least 3 million kelvins at the center of the star. That's it for today, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.